Hey, welcome back to another episode of Ruining Your Weekend, where we're playing some Rune Terra here. Uh, we're going to have some fun with uh, some Boros, because if any of you guys play Rams in uh, League of Legends, you know how fun uh, Poros can be. So for the deck here, uh, we're focusing, the champions that we're playing is Braum, uh, as well as Anivia and Trindamir, uh, with a bit of a, a theme mostly of Poros, but as well of granting, uh, like building up the allies. So as the game gets longer, we got a couple cards that are going to help build up the size of the cards in our deck, hopefully hitting a Braum with something like that. Uh, as well, we are, because we're making everything big, we've got Avalanche to deal with some of the small creatures, uh, Anivia, who also helps uh, just erode their board down. And we're going to see if we cannot uh, get some fun where uh, if we have an Anivia out, we can have a lot of fun with Dawn and Dusk here. Uh, we make copies of Anivia, and if you make the copies of Anivia uh, as they're ephemeral and they die, Anivia turns into Agnivia, which uh, is a permanent. So you can end up with three Anivias on the board. And if we get to that, whether we have three transformed Anivias, uh, we're dealing six damage uh, to each creature and their Nexus turn. So that would be GG's at that point. All right, so let's dive in and uh, have some fun here. Okay, so we're up against a, uh, looks like a bit of a similar deck. Um, they're running Trend, Anivia, Braum, and Jinx. Uh, this is... This is, I think, an okay keep. I don't think I need Take Heart right now, so I want to see if we can get uh, maybe one of our one mana Poros with it. Eh, that's, I'll, we think so, that's great. We draw. So I love the, this guy. Um, you get a second one in your hand of a random Poro, uh, but the more Poros we get, this Poro snacks, it gives it them all plus one, plus one. Uh, that's plus one, plus one that are in your hand, in your deck, uh, in play. It, it can start to stack them up so they get to be pretty decent. That's fine. Like, we did, be we did better than a one for one. We basically uh, two for one in there because I drew an extra card off of this uh, and traded one for one. So that gives us some good card advantage, um, which will help us. Okay, so we might as well play two spells here because we can. Um, so let's gain, so this is gonna get the top allies of our deck. Uh, hopefully we hit something like a Braum. Yeah, I'm going to block here. Um, I don't have a lot that I'm going to get out of this Omen Hawk, so I might as well uh, see. I might as well block here. Like, get um, worn down a bit. This is a good part of the draw. He's elusive, so he's able to get through. Nice, I got a 2 2 Omen Hawk. Um, so I think what we want to do here. We can start getting some extra mana, so we'll play the Weirding Stones. Um, my options were Weirding Stones or playing the Omen Hawk and making more things bigger. Charged up and ready to go. Making more things bigger would be nice, uh, but I think just this gives you uh, some mana advantage to go with that card advantage that we're hopefully going to gain from some positive trades. Considering we're both like. The reason this card I think is actually pretty solid is is we actually play with parity for mana. So being able to get more mana means I can play like basically a turn ahead of him. Now the downside is I kind of lose a creature spot, but that's not a massive downside unless I once I start to get to a, a full state, then then it becomes a downside. But for now, I think we're okay. These eyes see all. Uh, all right, so I 
couple options here. Um, so I can get my, what I'm thinking is I'm going to um, hold off on, oh, I want the four order. Let's just block two over here uh, and we'll take the uh, four. I want to play the Poro Herder and get um, two Poros in hand uh, to make the snacks even better. So I was debating between trading it. I don't think I want to trade this guy because the Elusive is pretty good. Oh, all right. Well, we've lost our Yogi Stones. That's unfortunate. Okay. So let's get our Herder down. Where did that one run off to? And we're also going to play um, play the Omen Hawk as well. So next turn will be, I think, at five again, so I can go Poro Poro uh, to put them in my hand. Ah, yeah. See, this is so. This is why I want to hang on to this. The Heart of Fluffed uh, combines all the Poros, which means I can make a huge Poro. That gain means all maintains all the abilities, including elusive. So that's <clears throat> very strong here. Uh, so let's go. Look, we'll find you some friends. We'll play the two lonely poros, um, and then I can play my poro snacks to make them all bigger. Look, we'll find you some friends. Uh, so it's elusive. I might as well attack him. And then these guys don't do a whole ton. I'll keep these guys back for my... Um... You know what? No, I can attack him with them. I lose a bit of value from... Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trade positively, I think, with the Poro Snacks. So I think we'll be okay to do this. Best not ruffle our feathers. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's a cannon, not a shield. Good, good. Okay, good. We'll trade positively here. Perfect. So now we stacks. And we win these trades. No. The little ones. So now on our next turn, um, ooh, I need this gray too. Uh, I think we'll just go ahead and we'll do the heart of felt, heart of fluffed. Uh, that'll get f six plus seven. That would be very big. Yeah, we got a fourteen twelve elusive. So. That's not bad. Trade here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I might as well play the Anivia. Uh, like, I could attack first, give them a blocker, but she's going to come through, deal an extra damage. We're going to put their Nexus down to two. Something Ooh, they're on Anivia. Pretty good. I think they're about to realize. I don't think that they realize that it gave, maintained all the abilities. Uh, so I think they're not going to realize I'm about to come through with a uh, elusive 14 creature. Fly away while you can. Yep. They'll trade. I'll get my egg Nibia. It's fine. We're gonna wipe out their other Poro here. Rend the skies. Okay, so we got their Nexus at two. Um, we got a pretty good board state right here. If this I only have four life left, that uh, is a little precarious. 
a little precarious. Um, but their their Anivia can only, I think, do a one. Which will leave it with three. So I can no, uh, I can bust up the trin with the overwhelm, and I think that should probably be enough. Okay, so they're gonna focus two things on it. Uh, yeah, we'll just play our trin the mirror. Bury all in snow. And then yeah, see we're still left with a five five. Uh, we'll play a trin the mirror because he's got overwhelm. So even if they try and block, uh, we're just going to get through. Let's soar. That's fine. Um, I'm going to block Try. here. Like it's actually better <laughs> for us Endless if Trin dies because he comes back Endless as a nine nine. But I think it'll be all right. Yep. I will be reborn. They got their egg. Okay, so we're not gonna. Oh yeah, second trend would be. Uh, so we're not gonna oh, give him a chance play. to um, play a creature. We'll just go straight into attacking here. And then we've got our Trindamir Battle Fury. So I think we should be okay. I don't think they can deal with both of them. Well, yeah, they. they they really can't. If they frostbite one or something like that, we can counter it with uh, Trindamir's Battle Fury on whichever creature they do that to. And I think they're just done. Computer, stop. Computer, stop. Sorry about that. Timer's going off. Not even a challenge. There we go. So, yeah. Like, Honestly, that that uh, the heart of the fluff that turns all your things into a poro is uh, it can be pretty strong when you get something like the elusive gun. All right, let's run it back. Let's see how we do. Okay, so they're playing the. Uh, I think I know this deck. It's kind of like a. It's sort of like a burn deck. They're they're gonna swarm with a bunch of spiders, get it low, play Darius, transform. So we need to. Oh, good. Yeah, avalanche for sure. Recall a unit. Mm, maybe not where we want to be. Probably don't. This is seven man. I don't need that right now. I'd rather just. Okay, great. Brom is. Brom will be uh, pretty great into what they're playing. Lonely Poro. Cool. Got a challenger Poro with it. And the snacks. What's that noise? I'm gonna trade. Gives him a spiderling, but. Please, um, I have connections! Otherwise, like, he'll just trade it with me later, so we'll do it now. Yeah, with the house spider. Uh, and we will play our challenger Poro. I would have let that one mana go into a spell pool there. Uh, we'll take, we'll, we'll skip the blocks here. I, I'd rather just use my ability to, when I pump it, to pull something in. All right. Oh, Anivia is going to be just fantastic into their deck. Um, couple options here we can let's deal with all units i think i'm gonna hold on to this for now it deals damage to all units which is actually really great with um brom because then i can get brom give him more damage to transform him So yeah, I think what I'm, what I'm hoping to get to is they're gonna hopefully really uh, look to extend or overextend, and that's when we'll um, avalanche them. 
I would definitely like to get the Weirling Stones to help us get to that Anivia as well. Yeah, okay, so they've stunned it. Mm, okay, I don't need to challenge in anything. We're okay here. I think what I will probably want to trigger it for, or hold this for, is if they play um, Elise, that's when we definitely want to look to doing something like that. So this is fine. I will. Um, what are they doing there? Okay. Well, Brom's dead. Uh, yeah. Okay. Brom's dead. We're just we're gonna borrow snacks in response. Eat and grow strong. Make him a two-two, and then I can block. Um, Think hard. Think block over here. Strong. If he's going to die as well, he's going to die. So the way this works is I should be able to block. This will still get blocked. I should only take three damage. Yeah. So if it's going to die during combat, use it to block. Uh, save yourself the damage there. Just need a second. Not a huge fan of this guy. Um, I'd rather play the 2-1... My problem with this guy is there's like a 2 1 fearsome, or like there's a lot of other one drops, like the uh, Hawks or like a Poro, and he trades into them and you play him on one. Without the evasion, I find he's just kind of falls a little flat to me. Uh, so let's see what they play. This might be a good. Um, See. My shield is my sword. Have you met my shield? We'll do this, uh, and then I can follow up with a uh, take heart, which gives him permanent um, plus three plus three. If they have a calling strike, they have a calling strike. Okay, so we're gonna pump him. So now this is permanent. So basically we're, not only can we challenge something with a, and he's got pretty decent toughness, but we can also uh, hopefully kill some of their small creatures. It is easy. Okay. Uh, oh, great. We've got the combo here. So I think what I want to do is actually probably. Uh, so they're going to attack in first. Okay. Time. They're going to attack in. Um, I'm going to look to Avalanche anyway, I think. Mm, okay. So. That's going to make their guys a lot bigger. I don't think it's enough to kill me. One, that's going to be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're, we're going down to one. Yikes. Yeah, all right. Now is definitely the time to avalanche here. Okay, so we'll wipe the board for them. Um, hopefully. What do they got here? Kill an ally of the dry too. Yeah, okay, makes sense. So if they have a Darius or something like that, we're gonna be in some trouble. So I want. Uh, 
yeah we, we're gonna play the weirding stones here we need um we need stuff on the board yeah we need stuff badly on the board i'm hoping that they're just running out of steam and that that board wipe did well um i do think if we get the anivia into the dawn and dusk uh that's gonna be pretty backbreaking for them we just need to make sure that we can try and live long enough getting him to transform will be very good okay let's definitely get her my talons out. are frost my wings the bitter winds whatever they play i should be able to challenge it Okay. I bring the storm. Okay, so next turn, I would have liked to have done this A where I can attack with it stillness. to wipe things out. Um, but I think we should still get the effect of um, making the two ephemerals. Alright, so we're working with 10 mana. Um, I can go. Blood yeah, for that's what we're worried about. What we're very worried about. I'll handle this myself. Do you have anything that I can deal with that? Not really. Because that's gonna. The overwhelm is, is, is what's gonna do me in there. Too bad, we were close. We were very close. But I don't think it'll be enough. None shall oppose me. Yeah, right, because we can just Yeah. I Unfortunately we can't double place. block, so Darius is pretty strong. Rest in ice. Oh well. Too bad. We came close to getting the, the, the three Anivias, which, which would have been pretty fun. Alright, let's run it back one more time and just see how it goes. Yeah, we... The fact that the avalanche is a slow does kind of hurt, and the, um, I forgot what the name was, but the thing that gives everything plus two plus oh and stuns an enemy, that's fast, so they're able to get that in before I can attack. Uh, 10 mana is pretty far off. I'm going to replace her right now. I'm okay with this to give an ally in hand plus three plus three. That's pretty solid. We're going to put the top two. Yep, I think this is fine. Yeah. Will of Ionia, okay. So if they do, if we, we'll hold on to this, if they do something like a Darius or whatnot and we need to bounce him. We can, it's fast, we can do it during combat to get them out of combat. Yeah, see like this Omen Hawk, if they play that 3-1 that can't block and I then play my Omen Hawk, we trade, but I've traded really positively there. Wow, two Brahms. Not super ideal, but okay. Cool. Or all snacks, alright. Victory requires a sharp blade. Is it challenger and can't block? Yeah, see, like my one one stops them from attacking. It's hilarious. Uh, Brahm is good, but I don't actually. It's got challenge, and I don't want him to kill my Brahm, so we're just instead gonna play another Omen Hawk uh, and probably follow up with some Poro snacks. Yeah, I guess, you know what? This is basically a removal spell, is no what it looks like, right? Back. It attacks in, and you pull a blocker, and you deal five damage to it. Yeah, 
So she still won. Uh, do I want to bounce it to do it again? Not really. I think we have better value bouncing other things. This might hurt. So again, so they attack with countering. We probably just gotta let that go through. Oh man, nothing. It's insane. Uh, I mean, let's just keep going with these Omen Hawks. They're <laughs> it's up to a three-three now. It's nuts. Walk softly, strike quickly. So I can't. Um, I don't really want to block either of these. Uh, but what I could do, I can recall this guy, because when he plays, she has to uh, recall to play him. So they won't actually, I don't think they'll be able to play it again. Not very easily. Because she bounces back to the hand as well. Violet solves everything. So this has given us some pretty good tempo advantage. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Okay, uh, so let's play our jeweled protector, and we'll give uh, one of the Brahms. We'll make the Brahm pretty big, so that we, when we can play him, he's going to deal a pretty good amount of damage. They maybe they would play Katarina. No, okay. A stunning full four. That's fine. So now we can play the Braum as a three eight. I can challenge this if I need to. I can do other things. Bring me tea! To gain the strength of rivers. Ooh, Trendomir, nice. Getting lucky with the champions here. Let the bloodshed begin. Is it the mustache? Who knows? Yeah, and we also have a take heart with it. So, if we dan like once he gets damaged, which I'll he probably will. Okay, so she'll challenge or something I would imagine. You're mine. Okay. Uh, do I want to block for five there? Oh. Okay. Well, as an eight one, I can't do much about that. Mm. Okay, we'll just... Uh, yeah, I needed to get damaged first, so we'll skip block plague to five. Remember me. And then this stays as a Brahm in hand, so then we can follow up by playing a Brahm. Brom is on the job. Okay. Um let's We'll, we'll start with the overwhelming. Or we'll start with the um, the mighty Poro. and then that way I've got yeah, he's a five five, and then I can also Poro snacks him into a six six. The reason Braum goes in the Poro decks, I didn't explain earlier. Um, once he transforms, every time he takes damage, he makes a mighty Poro. What's well, what did he do this to me? Oh, okay. So I'm going to tail the dragon. Cool. Okay, so he can play his guy, recall him, get a concussive palm in hand. Not bad. First we fight. Good luck. Have fun. 
How did that move go? <laughs> My sweet button. So I could play the Poro snacks here, but I don't really. Well, Give me a sweet button. Heightens the senses. Yeah, it's probably best to play it here. Um, I mean, I don't. I'm gonna lose a mana, so this way I carry over one mana. But if we drew a spell then uh, that I could play in the second, like play two a turn, and I, I think it's a little bit better. There's always a way out. That's pretty good to get the concussive palms out of it, and that it was very elusive. It's cool interaction. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Cool. All right. So at the end of each round, she creates a random spell. That's pretty good. Uh, do I want to play Trindamir here? I think so. It's between Join that or the Take Heart. But I think just the ability to uh, a 10 6 Overwhelm is pretty good. Can't block him. He's elusive. So. I'm feeling that we're going to get a stun on the uh, trend here, I'm going to guess. Well, let's go all in. Can they stun? It's fast. Yeah, they can. Uh, so let's pull the karma up at the Braum here. They should be friends. Yeah, I'm expecting the, um, the concussive palm to come down. Yep, there it is. It's cool interaction. You call that like that. Sneaky. All right, so they'll trade there. This isn't part of the training. Okay, so let's see here. Um, the will get a stun. So I've got three coming through here. If I bounce this, I've got three plus six is only nine, so no, not a ton of value there. Do I want to bounce to keep this guy alive? I don't think I need to do that. I think I'm okay with how this is going. Worth it. Okay. And then we'll. Uh, no going back. So they get a chance to attack this turn. Let's see if they s swing back here. If they do, then I can bump up wrong. Otherwise, I lost my opportunity there, which would suck. But when you, when you get Rally from Katarina, I feel like they make a claim. Yeah, nonsense. good. Okay. Uh, so she's going to deal four. Do I want to... Okay, let's block here. Now, I can do it on Braum or I can do it on this guy to make a 9-9 nine, nine Overwhelm. I think that's better play. Um, this Now with the two Overwhelm guys, uh, that gives me a lot of options when they attack. Braum would have been nice. For sure but i think that it's a bit better for me to try and get the damage through so now they, they can't well i don't think they can stun both right away my spirit is an unquenchable fire cast it again on the same targets okay well if they stun something they can't stun it twice because it's the same targets So if they have a way to recall their uh, recall, they want they want to be able to recall their tail of the dragon here. Okay, so they've stunned them twice. Um, 
Okay. Let's play him in Nivea of our own. The Freljord's eternal guardian! I think we're in a decent spot. They they are getting good card advantage with Karma. But we have um we've got a really good onboard presence here and this Anivia, if we can keep it alive for their turn. All will kneel before Noxus. Grant me plus one for each unit you've stunned or recalled in this game. Yikes. He's big. Never play fair. Close the distance! They're afraid. They should be. So let's bounce him. And block Stand it. behind Brog. If they have a counter this, we're we're in trouble. They don't. Nice. Look how we have grown! It is okay. easy. Good board state. Very good board state. Um, let's just my blade calls. let's just get in there. For my homeland. We should be friends. Not sure if they have any plays around this. I think. Yeah, let's see what do they got here. If they can frostbite the board, that would be really bad for us. Oh boy. Two things. Yikes. Okay. Stun and attacking. Recall a unit. What are they recalling? Recalling their own karma. Well, we're just gonna go and I think um, eat, eat probably strong. unnecessary, um, but this gives us a little extra damage coming through here. I think that's enough. Yep, there we go. We got there. See? Trust that was a cool deck that they had. Um, I think we just, like, as you can see, just over the game, we just got bigger and bigger and got out of their reach. All right, so deck is pretty good, um, pretty strong. Uh, we didn't get to do, we didn't really get to finish the Anivia and Dawn and Dusk combo, but all in all, I think this is decently good deck. Uh, Braum, I think, is in one of the opening packs, so a lot of these are easy to acquire. And it's just kind of fun with a bunch of Poros, so give it a shot and uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good weekend.